raining outside. Well, that's shitty. It's so hot in here, too. I can't even turn on the air conditioning, because if I do, then you guys won't be able to hear me talk, which is the whole point of why you're here. Ah, who knew? You come in over 45 minutes early to make a video, and the phone won't stop ringing. It's... Oh, well. Anyways, you guys, uh, the first story I wanted to talk about today, got to pull it back up here, was Amy Winehouse. Now, I'm sure everyone knows that she was pronounced dead uh, in her London apartment Saturday afternoon. There, I heard a rumor, something about a cocaine overdose. Um, the article that I have here and the few articles I've checked doesn't confirm that, so I'm not saying anything about that. But uh, if you remember anything about Amy Winehouse, first off, she was huge with her back to black. And... Uh, it was primarily because of AOL and the whole launch that they did on YouTube. So I'll post a link in the description down below for that. Check it out. It was a huge thing. And then if you also remember her performance in Belgrave, I'm not sure if you guys ever saw that. It's actually pretty funny. She basically has a complete meltdown on stage. She forgets the lyrics. Uh, they catch her lip syncing uh, to the end of the song just because she wasn't able to actually sing. So the manager just flipped her track on to at least give the audience some kind of a show, and she was just completely, essentially wasted on stage. And I hope the people that followed Amy Winehouse see her death as an inspiration. An inspiration to get help if you actually need it, before it's too late. And a wee bit happier news, I guess. Weird, kinda. In China, there's actually fake Apple stores everywhere. Everything looks like an Apple store that you would find here in North America. But, in fact, everything is fake. The products aren't Apple products. The people are uh, paid employees, but not actually hired by Apple. There's even the classic Apple winding staircase. All the warranties are fake and people in China don't know the difference. They're coming in, they're buying all these products and everything seems legit but in fact it's not. I hope Steve Jobs is listening which thankfully he was because these four Apple stores have been forced to close and I mean that's four Apple stores in a three block radius. How many more are there? It's a sad day in the business news world. I just read an article stating that Rim, the creator of the Blackberry, aka the phone I don't have, or an iPhone, I'm not too sure which one I want yet, but the phone I don't have nonetheless is laying off 2,000 workers out of their 19,000 person staff. And this is really sad because if you know anything about me, you know that I love business. And if you know anything more about me, you know that I really love Canadian businesses. And uh, it's a huge piss off that instead of creating jobs for the Canadian economy that we're actually losing jobs. That's 2,000 people that are now unemployed and collecting EI. I hope these people at least have the skills that they can actually go out and get another job, and maybe they're going to be going back to school. But regardless, we need to support our Canadian companies. I know that RIM is not in the best positioning right now. Uh, their CEOs definitely need to make some changes. The Titan has gotten even bigger. That's Google, of course. Google stock is reaching the highest value <laughs> over the past six months trading at almost $620 a share, putting the search giant just shy of a $200 billion market cap. The last time Google traded at over a $600 level was in the first week of March. And what makes this even really exciting is that Google is exploding, but it's really funny because they don't even really sell anything that interesting or badass. They, they, they just offer services. And in my opinion, Larry Page, who is the CEO of Google, is exactly what they needed, and they are doing all of the right things. Google is in a huge, expansive uh, position right now. I'll read to you what Google actually owns. They own Google Chrome, Google Desktop, Google Earth, Google Pack, Picasa, and four different versions of Picasa, mind you. Secure Asa, Access, SketchUp, Talk, Viggy, Vizzy, Zygon, I don't even know what the hell that says, but they own it. Pin in input method, Japanese input, and like... Okay, all of those are massive companies. I, I've heard of uh, most of them, and I'm only, I'm not even a quarter of the way scrolled through the page, and it just literally keeps going and going. Everything from cell phones and Google Plus and Google Maps, uh, everything from AdSense to AdWords. It's huge, and when Google actually released that they were going to be putting Google Plus in, even before anything happened, Google's market cap was shot up by 20 million dollars. Now that's huge. Uh, 20 million dollars overnight just for saying a few words. That's not bad. I wish that would happen when I uh, spoke. I think I'd be rich because I just really don't shut up sometimes. And I just had to add this in. I'm trying to do something a little uh, good for the environment, something that makes me feel good about myself. So as I posted this in the last video, I actually had five or six people ask me if it was real. And hell yeah, it's real. For every person that subscribes, comments, and likes my video, I will plant a tree. That's everything that mattered to me over the course of the weekend. Uh, I hope everyone has a good week, and now it's time to sell some tickets for this company. Theater Collingwood, Tim speaking.